In this video, I will be showing you how you can add, edit, or delete a field inside Active Campaign. So generally means that you manage the fields inside Active Campaign. So fields are things that people fill up and then you appear inside your autoresponder in the contact session. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can manage all that. Right. If you're new to this channel, hi, my name is Ken and I help business owners to grow using digital marketing. So if you're interested in topics related to digital marketing or entrepreneurship, do subscribe to this channel, turn on notification bell so you don't miss any of my future video. And without further ado, let's go into my computer and I can show you how all this can be done. Let's go. All right, first of all, you open up your Active Campaign account. If you want to add field, I have a video previously to show you how to create an Active Campaign form. So you can use that to create a new field as well. Uh, but this time I'm going to show you exactly how you can create a new field or edit a new field in another method. So now, first of all, you go to list. Then you can see that at the manage field side, just click manage fields. Here you can easily edit or change or delete the field that you want to have in your active campaign account right uh, because this sometimes you need to change you need to delete but you don't know where to find so this is where you find it right so you can see if you have to click this pen icon i edit so you can see it's default value you can change to whatever that you want the name all right uh, because this is the standard field names so you cannot really change much but in here, which I created a few, which is your industry, start time, date. So all these can be deleted. All you have to do is just click the delete button and it's gone, right? If you want to edit, just click on edit here. You can see that you can change the field name, the personalization tag. You can change the call whatever you want it to be, okay? Then you can change the group name. So you can see general details, default value, visible on forms. You can put it in visible, hide it out as well. Also can, all right? Then you can click show advanced. So you can choose which list you want it to appear on, which list you do not want it to appear on. So this is how you can do it, all right? If you want to add a field, all you have to do is just click here, add field. Then you just type a field name, whatever field name you want. So you can add group accordingly as well. So this is depending on how you want to do it. But for now, just keep it general details. You can go to field type. You can choose text input, text area, date, date time, drop down, list, but this box, radio box, radio button, chat box, hidden field. For example, if you take um, drop down, then you have all the options for you to fill up. So there's a lot of things you can choose here. All this you can do it here, and then you can edit accordingly. So you can have this. Should this be a field? If yes, you can take a quiz here as well to try it out. So for now, we're not going to add new one. So to delete, let me just show you how to delete. For example, this start time, I do not want it anymore. I just can click the delete button. Then you can take all this, I'm aware, I'm aware, I'm aware, then delete. So you can see that, uh, you see like, like for example, the main fields you're not able to edit, only uh, these, these two fields, right? Uh, just show you a bit on adding group. So for example, this is general details, right? So you can add more group, testing group, great. And then you can see that there's no field group, all you have to do is just add. Just add the field, then you choose whatever name you want to put inside, it's all fine. So for now, I don't need it. Yep, so this is just a brief walkthrough on how to manage your fields inside Active Campaign. So in here, you can see how you can add field, how you can edit the field, or how you can delete the field. So if you make mistake, do not worry, just create a new one and then let it replace. Just test it out because I know it could be daunting to test all these fields, but no worries if it's wrong, delete, edit, everything can be managed through here. Go to list, manage field, and this is how you can delete, add, and manage your fields. Alright, I hope this video is helpful for you. If you like what I share, do give me a thumbs up or a like on this video. If you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, why not? This channel talks about digital marketing and entrepreneurship. So if you're interested in topics in those niches, do subscribe to this channel, turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. And with that, thank you very much for watching my video and I see you in my next video. Goodbye!